Swedish. I moved to London in uh, about 10 years ago. Um, I'm mainly a mixing engineer, but sometimes I do productions as well. I used to work with Metropolis Studios where I worked with Lady Gaga and Paul McCartney and, and popular people like that. I've been in Pro Tools since mm, version 5, which is, is it 20 years now. Yeah, so I haven't used anything else really. I've tried loads, I've tried them all, but never really been comfortable in anything else than Pro Tools until now then. I was looking for a new program to do production in basically because uh, as we know Pro Tools is not really good with virtual instruments, it's loads of problems with MIDI, it's just not tight enough really. Um, so I thought I'd give Studio One a go and was blown away about the tightness of it and the speed and everything really. It got the new features that I need, uh, the smart tool, the trim automation tool that wasn't there before. That's something I really, really needed for doing mixing. Um, coming from Pro Tools again. I'm so excited about the console shape as well. I haven't, haven't actually done a full mix of it yet, but I'm just dying to do it. Because <laughs> uh, it sounds it sounds really, really good for my testing so far. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Studio One 3.2, I will probably start doing all my mixing in, in Studio One, yeah, definitely. Because now the, the features are there. My main was, one was the trim automation tool. So I do that a lot, trim sections up and down, all the way you know, in, in the arrangement. And that was a little bit hard before. But now it's amazing. I would definitely recommend it. I think that Studio One have the best of all doors now. It's like a chameleon. <laughs> it has everything in there. Best things from Logic, best things from Pro Tools, best things from Ableton. It's all like in one program. And that's why I love it. I can finally leave probes behind basically.